Hello everyone, today I will show you how you can create this type of glossy animation in After Effects using very simple methods. First I have used only one image and there are several adjustment layers on which many effects are applied. And at the end a circle encloses the whole structure here. And there are three sets of circles. All three sets have an offset of 5 frames like this first is animated from a start frame. And the second set of circle is animated from fifth frame so as you can see it's moving downwards and i have converted into adjustment layer so it controls the movement of the image let's dive into our main part first of all we will create a new composition you can select your resolutions as you want i will name it transition drag your footage here in the project menu i will use this image now we will go into layer new and create an adjustment layer here we'll add an effect motion tile and what motion tile does it creates several copies around our image so if i move this up or around you can see our image is replicated there is a sharp edge between those images you can create mirror images and the edges between those uh, images uh, is merged so it's not visible now we will animate that go to a second frame we will keyframe that by clicking on the stopwatch icon and move to our first frame we will change this y value and bring it to zero the center will be at the top of our composition and now if i play this animation it looks something like this now i will select both of these keyframes right click keyframe assistance and easy ease them you can also press f9 on keyboard to ease them so it becomes smooth and after that we will click on this graph go into this option and select edit sweet graph and now we will change the interpolation of graph around what here so first it will increase so fast and then slowly come down like this and now we will add another effect which is transform effect go to our first frame and increase the scale value to 130 and add in a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch icon and move to second frame and decrease it to 100 to our original scale value now press u to show all keyframes and select both new keyframes and easy ease them and edit this graph like we did before and now it will look something like this now we will move to our circular part i will create three circles i will use them as adjustment layers so first i will create a new circle so this will be called as first frame because this will start animating from uh, first frame i will change the duration of it to about five seconds and press ok now i will create a circle by going to ellipse tool and select this title action save so center of our composition will show up move to the center click drag and press ctrl and shift so it should be a perfect circle and increase the circle so it covers our whole composition from about here and make sure the fill color of this uh, circle is black click transparency grid so it will show the transparency in our composition we'll select this shape here and press position and move to uh, one frame and 15 subframes we will create a keyframe right here and move to our first frame we will drag it up we will drag up so whole circle will disappear round bodge here if i play the animation it looks something like this i will select both keyframes and press f9 to easy ease them go into graph editor and change this graph like this as we did before we will bring it a little bit more above now if i play this animation it will look something like this from here i will create the other two select this first frame and duplicate it name it fifth frame because we will start animating it from fifth frame press ok go into this circle and select both keyframes and drag them to about five frames this is also created now duplicate this one also and name it tenth open this composition and select both keyframes drag them to tenth frames right here so now it's created we will duplicate it one more time and name it 15 we'll click on it drag these keyframes to 15 frames so on what here and now we will move into our main composition and in this composition we will first add our first frame circle drag it here and go into toggle switch mode and change the blending mode to stencil alpha so this effect will add our picture within the circle we created as you can see in this black circle other areas will be transparent as you can see first layer of our transition is created now we have to add our second circle and drag it below our first frame circle recompose name it to and click this mobile attributes into new composition and press ok open this composition and here we will create a white layer new white solid so 
bring it beneath our fifth composition and we will change the blending mode to alpha inverted mode so the black circle is now transparent only this area will be act as an adjustment layer we will click on this icon so it will be converted now into an alpha layer and now if i play this nothing will show up but once you start adding several effects like first i will add an effect exposure and click on this uh, channels individual channels and change the colors like you want as you can see our first layer is being created you can change the colors just as you like we will also apply another effect which is transform effect to scale it and increase this scale to 130 now, now if we play this animation it will look something like this now we will add a blur effect go into effects blur and sharpen and select this fast box blur increase it to 50 or any other value so here as you can see there are pairs of circles so i will duplicate this pair and delete all of these effects and add here gradient ramp to give it a different color and changing its blending mode to hard light now if i change its color you can change its color decrease the opacity if you want to round budge here so this is it now we will create our 10th frame circle we will drag it and bring it between our second circle we will recompose this like we did before and name it third one Open this composition and same create a new solid solid and bring it beneath our circle composition. Select this alpha inverted mat and go to our main composition. <laughs> Make sure you uh, click on this adjustment layer icon. A second layer is created but it's not visible because we haven't applied any effect. We will go into our second composition and copy all of these effects and paste them on third one. But this time we will decrease our blur to about 20. Change the colors so it shows a little bit different from our uh, first layer so now second layer is also created duplicated one more time to add gradient effects delete all of these effects go to our gradient second gradient layer uh, click this copy this gradient and from here and paste it on third one gradient uh, change the blending mode to hard light change the colors as you want so i'm choosing these colors now if i play this animation two layers of it are created and to create the third layer drag the 15th frame uh, circle to about here and pre-compose it name it fourth one press ok go into our layer and create a new solid layer and bring it beneath our circle composition change this to alpha inverted match move into our main composition toggle switch and click this on adjustment layer now we will copy all of these effects as we did before on fourth one but, but this time we will delete this fast box pillar as you can see there are three layers are already created you can change the colors it's a little bit differentiated from the below two layers and duplicate this layer change this to hard light and delete these effects and because it will be a, a gradient copy this gradient and paste it on fourth gradient layer now you can change the color to like you want now if i play this animation it will look something like this so this effect is already created pressing n to uh, bring our composition menu to here right click trim comp to work area now we will uh, create another adjustment layer above all and now we will add in uh, chromatic aberration so go into effect immersive video and we are chromatic aberration select this as stereoscopic over and under and change its values right here so now it will look something like this okay looks cool now i will animate this we will move to about one frame here and keyframe them like this and move to our second frame well all, all of these layers are gone and we will bring them to zero now if i play this animation it will look something like this press u and select all of these keyframes press f9 to easy them You can select this layer and change it to guide layer. In this way, you can apply it on any layer. We don't have to do the whole things. So let me show you what I did before. I will show you by playing it. There are many layers around here and only these composition are applied. So what I did, I selected each image and bring it to composition. Pre-compose it like this and open this pre-compose layer and bring it our transition composition to here and click on this small icon and now it's applied on it as you can see 
And if I move in main render, I will, if I drag them right here, and if we play the animation, it will look something like this. As you can see, it is applied on our first layer. So this is it. You can apply it on as many layers as you want and make a smooth transition between or your clips, footages or anything you want. So thank you. I hope you like the video and for more this type of content, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or have any confusion, you can comment. Uh, I will reply it. And thank you.